for you, Miss Webb. Mr. James Cadney, please. Or oh, Miss West of the intimate interview is calling. Oh, hello, Mr. Cadney. I've just received a telegram from our New York office stating that uh, your screen fans would like to have an interview with you. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, that'll be fine. I'll be out there at 2 o'clock. Oh, thank you, Mr. Cadney. This is crazy. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't hit you, did I? Oh, no. I'm just as good as a mile. You have to take more chances than this in the newspaper business. Oh. I have an interview with you. Yes. Well, what time is it? It's half past two exactly. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize it was so late. You certainly caught me unprepared. Oh, that's all right, Mr. Cagney. Well, it's all right with you. It's all right with me. What can I tell you? All about your past, your present, and your future. <laughs> it's a large order. Well, are you training for another underworld picture? Oh, hardly that. I sprained my back trying to do a few nip-ups. I'm trying to get the kinks out now. As for the underworld thing, I don't think they'll get much time from now on, but I'll do them when I have to. But you've been so successful in them. <laughs> yes, I know. That's a big difficulty. You see, when you play a great many of those parts, you become fixed in the public mind as that kind of character. But the, uh, the plans are in the future that I play an entirely different variety of roles. How did you uh, happen to go into pictures? <laughs> it's a long story. It's more easily told sitting down. Let's go and rest our hands and faces, eh? All right. That sounds very interesting. Uh, tell me some more about it. You want me to go all the way back? Yes, let's. It's a long time. Well, anyhow, I started in Bordeville as a song and dance man. Played in that for a few years, and then uh, found myself in a dramatic show just about three years ago. And since then, it's been all dramatic. Well, do you find that your stage experience has helped you uh, with your picture work? Unlimitedly. You see, the, it gives you a sort of background, something to draw from in a pinch. Uh, very often you'll strike, you'll strike a scene that, that uh, requires a little more than is written into the script. And the, the stage background adds a little something to it. Well, uh, do any of your uh, fan letters indicate that people believe you to be the bad boy you portray? Mm-hmm. Quite a few of them. They all, they all want to save me from uh, what they call absolute ruin. Kind of positive. They seem to indicate to them that, that uh, I'm a hard-boiled egg, and uh, if I don't behave myself, I'm going to come to no good end. Well, have you ever been in jail? Pardon? <laughs> I don't mean that. I mean, uh, have you ever visited them? Oh, yes. of the characters. Yeah. I played ball up at Sing Sing in 1920. I was with a semi-pro team around New York at the time, and we uh, got an invitation from the Mutual Welfare League up there to go up and play their team. And a Cracker Jack bunch they are. They beat the tar out of us. Well, uh, what, uh, what type of role do you expect to play in the future? Oh, I don't think there'd be any definite uh, or particular type. I think it's going to be varied. There'll be those with comedy and those with drama, all interspersed, you see. Mm -hmm. Well, do you like to make personal appearances? Yes, I do, frankly. You see, being just a ham at heart, I like the feel of the boards under the feet and to get that contact with an audience. It's something that you miss when you've gotten into pictures, you see. Well, how do you feel since you hit the top? Top? Where is the top? 
There's no such thing. It's just a matter of going on and working indefinitely, keeping on working. Mm -hmm. Well, what is your chief ambition outside of pictures? Now you've touched a soft spot, really soft. You won't tell anybody, but tell you? No. Not a word? Not a word. To anyone? Anyone. Fair enough. Come with me. You're very honest to me. I think we should get a bed. Along right now. We'll take you out there. You're getting very quiet. See that ball? Mm-hmm. That hole? Yes. Now, the chief ambition is to put that ball in that hole in one stroke. Mm -hmm. Have you ever done it yet? I'll tell you in a minute. No. <laughs> well, maybe you're not in the mood today. Oh, which reminds me. Do any of the roles you portray uh, have any effect on your mood outside of the studio? No, not at all. I'm perfectly willing at the end of the day to forget all about it and leave everything after me at the studio. Mm -hmm. Well, does the director dictate the action or... Uh, do you uh, use your own judgment? Well, it all depends. If the director has a bit of respect for the actor and the actor for the director, they can usually affect a compromise on any little difference that may come up. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, Mr. Kangler, there's just one more question. Uh, when do you uh, consider that you've reached the ultimate of happiness? We're right back where we started from. When I can put that little ball into that hole. Is it as really as hard as all that? I've been trying for six months to do it. Well, it looks easy. Have you ever played golf? Never in my life. Hmm. Well, if it looks so easy, try it. Just once. All right. Goodbye, Mr. Cagney. And many thanks. 